Hello, and welcome to Gallery Works. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and this is our second session. Um, in our last show, we blocked in a teddy bear, and he's getting ready for Christmas. This is Papa Bear. Um, and the setup is right over here. And um, now that I have the canvas covered, my job is to do finish work, bring him to life, you know, give him some personality and, and a few more um, pretty things around him and just bring him to life. I'm just working with regular oil paints and as you can see I've got all kinds of brushes and everything going here, everything is a mess. So bear with me and we'll see if we can make some, create something out of this chaos. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. All right. I think what I want to do first is get in here and I'm going to just take a paper towel and I'm just going to wipe this down. I don't care for this bright green right here. That should be a little more muted and softer. In the same way down here. Sometimes you'll find when you wipe stuff out, wipe a painting out, you'll find that you can create um, with the paper towel, of which works really, really quite nicely. If you want a little bit of a special effect in the background, not quite so fussy, a little more painterly. There we go. All right, now then I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to mix with this green. I want this to be just a little bit lighter. There, that's pretty. I love that color. That's nice. And I'm just going to scumble that around. Lighten him up a little bit. He's looking a little dark like Yeah, there, that's better. And then like down in here too, I don't particularly care for all this dark. I wanna lighten him up some there. I'm not gonna worry too much about this outline right here because, and I'm gonna soften this into this and maybe put just a little bit more of this light up in here too. Let it come down in here. You know, our subject matter has a lot of detail in it. If I put all the detail in the painting that I see, I, we, we really won't have enough time, number one, because it's only a half hour program. And number two, it won't be nearly as interesting as if I pick out um, something and really bring it to life. And, and that's what I wanna start doing now. I'm going to do that with the greenery. I'm going to start there first. Okay. Um, come in with the yellow and um, the sap green and try to, let me see, I think that's the wrong brush. Take this one here. It's a little thinner. And try to just kind of like make some greenery here. So that, we, so that we get the feeling that there's greenery there. We don't have to describe every single one that we see. We just want to know, we want to have the impression that it's there. We don't have to be photo perfect. If we wanted a photo, we'd get a camera and take one. So being a painter is not only knowing what to paint, but what to leave out. That's very important. Very, very important. Okay, so now we have some greenery there. Okay. Right over here, it's kind of got a little messy on me. I'm going to come in with a little bit of dark and 
darken this area up right in here. Just kind of scumble it out and make it a little muddy. Mud's okay too sometimes. <laughs> there, now I have something there that I can put my uh, some greenery on and it'll it'll show okay now I do have a pine cone right uh, right in there and I want that pine cone to show I love pine cones in fact in California where I'm from um, we would go up to Big Bear and we would pick up pine cones in the Angeles National, National Forest, we'd pick up pine cones, bring them home, and we would put glue on the tips of them and then sprinkle them with glitter, and we would have the most beautiful pine cones. I remember that. We did that for a long time ago, but it was a nice memory. Nice, nice memory. Okay, so now we've got a pine cone there. Let's have another one. You know, everything's nice in twos. Not everything, but sometimes things are nicer in twos. Let's see if we can make an upside down pine cone. As I was going through my Christmas ornaments and looking for the things to bring today to use in the painting and I found this crazy pine cone that had uh, um, was wearing a Christmas hat and it had a um, um, little face on it. it was really quite cute and I almost brought it but then I thought no that's just too gimmicky there that's but it was cute it was cute okay so now we're going to darken this up a little bit in here And we're going to put a dark shadow underneath the pine cone. And we have some, we have some beautiful um, blue, like a blue spruce in there that's really very, very pretty. So let's get some of that going. Okay, this is coming over here. And our poinsettia, let's, let's get that poinsettia set in there. Poinsettia is my favorite flower, not only because it's red, but because it is the Christmas flower. There was a story about a young Mexican boy on Christmas Eve. This is supposedly how the poinsettia got its, um, got, became, became the Christmas flower. This young boy in Mexico, it was Christmas Eve, and he was going to the church, and he didn't have a gift for the Christ child, and he, dropped down in the snow and he prayed and there in the fresh new fallen snow popped up this beautiful red flower and so the boy picked it up and took it into the church and that was his gift for the for the Christ child and so the um, poinsettia became the official Christmas flower of course since it's a legend. It's, I don't know how true it is, but it's a nice thing to think about. Very nice thing to think about. We have a little darker leaf under here. We'd probably have some nice, bright, 
light leaves in the center that would kind of show up. Mm -hmm. And then he has some berries and his berries are very dark in here and the berries have just a little bit of yellow on the on them there we go and there now then there needs to be just a little bit more of that red coming over here kind of suggests that that a petal coming that way but it's you know a poinsettia actually the the petals of the flower are actually the leaves so there we go all right now then over here we want to get some of the greenery we have to work kind of fast because we need to make sure that we save plenty of time for our little for our little guy our little teddy bear so I'm probably working with a little more abandon than I would if I was working in my studio I would probably be working a little more carefully at this point but I want you to get you the audience the viewer to to get a, a good idea of what this is would look like when it's completed and so I have to really push push it okay now let's see here I think we need one more petal right in here there we go and then um, I do see that we have some white uh, pearlish like looking things Let's see if I can get those in there That looks kind of stark. I better tone that down just a tad. There, that's better. On his little scarf, he has a red ribbon. and a gold bell and the scarf needs to be just a little darker around the edges here And then there's like a little knot back here. And that back of the scarf flies off the back. Okay, we need some red berries on the other side here. 
I'm intentionally dancing around the, the teddy bear because I'm planning what all am I going to do to him to, to finish him up here. And now it's time to get busy with him. Okay, before we run out of time completely. All right. The... I'm making the green and the red to make a nice light kind of a blonde color and I'm going to come out here okay he has hmm all these brushes and none of them I want to use. I should have brought more. He has a darker value right in here in his little ear. He's coming around there. He has a little dark right in here. This right in here is a little darker. And this ear right here is dark. And it's also dark on the edge, on the outer edge right back in here. This is quite dark. I'm taking alizarin crimson and sap green and making a, a um, more of a, of a mahogany color there. That's good. This is a little darker in here. Okay, now we'll take the hair. It's very light in here, so where he's light, he's very light. I'm pushing, pushing up to make the hair. Pushing in the direction that the hair would grow. Okay, I had originally put a, a um, pink nose on him and after looking at him I don't like that pink nose so I'm going to give him a little darker nose I think I've got some light coming out over here and this is all the lights and the darks are what giving him what is giving him the the his expression and we need some of this dark, dark over in here to kind of set that ear off right there. Okay, and then this is a little darker coming down in here. And I'm just going to put this little nose on like that. And it's got... a little bit of dark under here. little bit of dark under there. It's kind of 
put on there. There, I think that looks better. Okay, now his eyes. Okay, this in here, where he's darker, fix that eye first. I think I'll go ahead and just put that eye in a little bit better. fur coming around here and fur coming out here. On the nose. And then this is coming down like this here. That's a little darker in there. Okay. Now we have a darker color right in here. and a very dark color right here. And this is all dark down in here. And then his little paw is coming around kind of dark on the outside here. And then it is real light right here and it's coming out like so, okay. All right, and then um, one thing I see that I, that I haven't gotten correctly is that the right in here, it's dark and that's what sets the little face out because it's dark against light and light against dark. So his little face is coming out around here, there. And this has got some light right in here too. And that nose should have just a little bit of dark right in here. Okay, and I'm running out of time fast. Okay, let's see here. Let's put some light on this. Some light on that. Some light on the foot. And some light over here. I'm working very fast now, not being too careful. So it is not exactly the way I would work on it if I was working in my studio. But it's really important to me that you kind of get a feeling of what this little guy looks like. This is his little arm coming down. There's his little paw. And this right in here is darker. So that is That's going back there. Okay, and we do have a piece of greenery that's coming up and over this foot here. And the 
fur right here is quite light as it's coming down on the arm. And I think we need just a little bit of light right here to kind of show that his little tummy is in there. Okay, let me see here. Maybe just a little smattering of some green stuff up in here, kind of. And maybe a nice dark, dark shadow right in here and coming up in there. Okay, and now I'll sign it. And there he is, my little fella. I hope you enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed painting the Christmas bear for you. Join us next time. It'll be another good show. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now. Uh.